Oh, thank Christ. Okay, I gotta turn off the AC. Okay, we can start the episode now. It took probably over 20 minutes in order to get this done. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, what did we do last time? Doesn't matter. We got the thing that we've been trying to get forever. As far as my setup on Mog, gave him the red cap. I had originally planned on trying to make use of, where is it? Where's that muscle thing? Someone else, there he is. I was trying to make use of the muscle belt. I was hoping that maybe Locke could deal enough damage with the offering to uh, take out uh, the pug in one shot. Wasn't able to do it, so instead we went to the fallback, which is just to use uh, Mog, and he just needs that extra little bit of HP. The red cap gives you that extra 25% HP, which brought his HP finally over the amount of damage that uh, uh, the pug does with Stepmine. If you've done a lot less wandering around, especially on the Velt, than I have, uh, he'll probably do a lot less damage. But uh, that's pretty much all I can muster. Anyway, after getting Cyan back in the previous episode, I wanted to make sure that I got that before we move on to do what I'm actually going to do today. Okay, we're back for a quick second. I just wanted to demonstrate a, uh, a glitch that I found while I was uh, playing around. Now, I gave some stuff to Umaro. Then I got rid of him by getting him out of the party. And for some reason, the uh, current party that I want to go with contains those four. Or, well... I want to bring Shadow because we just got him back, and, well, as I alluded to in the last episode, we're going to go save his daughter, so he should probably come along. Locke needs to be there to steal. I need some kind of a spellcaster because I'm going to want to cast spells. And we just got Cyan back, and for whatever reason, during Cyan's side quest, which we haven't done yet, we don't get to use Cyan. <laughs> so I got to find other places to make use of him, otherwise he'll never get used again. But if we go there and we select uh, unequipped, those not in the party, and this includes if you select all members and he's currently in your party. But if we go and we pull uh, Marl back in, you'll notice that, oops, we need to go relics. He still has the things in. In fact, if you go here and select all members to remove everything except for him. I never noticed this before because I never really used him, but it's another glitch in the long line of glitches in this game. Okay, there's two little pit stops I want to make before we go to where we're supposed to go. First of all, we want to go back down to Zen here. And we want to pick up a couple of things. Um, you'll notice that we've done a lot of dungeons lately and not a lot of, uh, not a lot of towns since we've kind of been to most of the towns. And well, in the process of doing that, we have a boatload of money. So I'm going to pick up some extra flame savers, primarily for throwing, um, up to 10. Can't remember if I use a whole lot of the other ones. We'll pick up a few of them. Eventually, it'll be part of my uh, purchasing that I want to buy more of them anyway. But we have those in addition to oops, the uh, the ninja stars that I already got, the fire skeins that I already got, and the bolt edges that I already got. So anyway, we got a few extras of those. I believe this is the only town that sells the element elemental swords. And last but not least. We go up here into the Serpent Trench, and we drop in on the uh, Tower of the Fanatics. Hey, Strago. Strago? Strago? Hey, Strago. Hey, Strago. What do you... Okay, well, I guess Strago's not going to do things. You just want treasure. 
sold their hearts to Kafka. All they do is mope around thinking of him. 100,000 GP, I'll tell you about a secret treasure. Well, lucky for you, I have a save state that I can just make here and uh, get it without having to pay. Here's the scoop. Beneath the desert of Figaro lies an ancient castle. Loaded with treasure. Old man who lives in the weapon shop is Narsh is looking for you. Well, I've been to both of those places, so you basically gave me nothing. Good thing we can undo that. Nah, we're not going to give you any money. Members of the cult of Kefka live in the tower. Something wondrous atop of it. You can only use magic attacks inside, so unless you're magic strong, you'll never make it to the top. Well, I've only got two really strong magic casters. There's a third one. Let's go get a fourth. Let's get back in our airship and we will head over to Jador. And well, we heard something about a little girl and a house of an artist. So let's go check that out. Um, here's the diary. Hauser's diary. One of the NPCs in town said that uh, they read it because it was just sitting there. So let's read it. Spent an absolute fortune. It's my largest painting yet. So I won't be able to put it with the others. I'll decide later where to display it. Artist came from Zozo today. He wanted to see his work. What a waste of time. Okay, showed me his work. I wanted me to see. Yeah, okay. I can't read. Bought a new stairway lamp at the item shop. Expensive. But one flip of the switch and everything's bright and cheery. Good to know. Write it over an artist from Cullingan. About as talented as a bucket. Well, okay. Something's happening to me. It started when I had that picture painted. Starting to hear odd noises coming from downstairs. Now, you'll remember before when we tried to come up here, we couldn't because everything was off and it told us to stay away. So we had to flick the switch to turn that one on. Now, you'll remember we already fought the uh, the flowers here, so you can't fight them again. Uh, you can encounter them on the Velt if you want to steal more Nutkins. It's, we already talked to this thing. Talking to it a second time gives you the letter. And uh, some armor. Looks ancient. A lamp, maybe? Well, it looks like the other lamp. Picture of an old urn. Treasure chest. There's only one left that I haven't talked to. Picture of a lovely lady. Well, not quite as lovely as we thought. This is Darling. Uh, I don't think I need to steal from you guys, actually, but uh, let's just kill them. That's fine. I believe Terra should be in the back row. Darling, level 37, weak to poison. You can steal a Moogle suit from them as well as you can MP kill them. You'll notice a number of the enemies around here, you can steal those suits. Moogle suit, chocobo suit, nutkin suit. It's one of the uh, kind of effects of this area. And this opens up into the uh, basement that is quite dark, but uh, there's not really anything we can do about that. And we have a new enemy, Vinder. Vinder is level 36, weak to fire. You can steal a Moogle suit from them. They can petrify you. You can also inflict instant death on them, so that's your first way of taking them out. Uh, I should probably go over my setup here. Well, that works not very well at all. Well, they're gone. <laughs> One magic point. Alright, let's go over the setup here. Uh, we've got the economizer on. Basically, if you're not using the Economizer right now, you can do other things and you can have uh, whoever's casting a lot of spells, especially X-Zone, because it costs like 53 MP to cast. You can either equip them with the uh, Gold Hairpin if you want it, it cuts MP cost in half. You can equip uh, you know, something else, like maybe uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel Shoes or whatever they are. You can equip those and then just cast Osmos every once in a while. 
I'm just being lazy. That's all it is. Uh, Shatter or Block has the offering and the sneak ring because I am going to try and steal a couple of things around here. Um, Shadow, Hero Ring, Memento Ring, protecting against instant death. Not that it's a major issue, but it's something. And I just threw stuff on Cyan, whatever. Uh, he's got Bismarck to work on levels. I still have uh, Shadow on Raiden to work on things. He might end up learning the quick spell, even though that's not primarily why I gave it to him. But I will have my, uh, my spellcasters working on that shortly. And she's still working on Life 3. Once she's done with that, yeah, I'll be uh, moving uh, Raiden, or Raiden onto her so she can start working on Quick. Huh? But Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. We have Soul Dancer and Wildcat. Again, you can steal from these guys. Um, the Wildcats here are level 36, weak to fire and water. You can steal a Tabby Suit from them, as well as inflict instant death. And, ow, okay, let's, let's not and say we did, thank you very much. The Soul Dancer will counter pretty much anything you do with Red Dance. Let's get rid of those. Steal from whatever's left. Uh, there is a mix-up or something just weird about the way that uh, their AI script is because in their AI script they have a or in their stats they have like a decent magic stat and they can cast a number of spells but all they do is throw weapons at you like that's what their AI script does every single turn they throw a different weapon at you uh, they have four different tiers of weapons they'll throw at the very end they'll be able to deal almost 2,000 damage with some of the weapons they can throw and then they cycle back to the weaker weapons again so yeah, we don't uh, we don't really want to be dealing with that too much. There is one specific way to avoid a lot of that damage. But yeah, Soul Dancer, for some reason, level 22, a lot lower level than a lot of the other ones. Weak to poison, you can steal a Moogle suit from them. You can also MP kill them pretty easily. I think they only have about 100 MP. Shadow gained a level, Terra gained a level. I did kind of wanted her to be working on uh, other things, but that's fine. Um, which door am I going? This one. Okay. Treasure! A Moogle suit. Okay. And then up here... Nothing in there. But a relic ring. Nice and uh, hidden back there. What's this? Okay, and in this battle, we've got a new enemy then. Uh, Crusher. Mm, start stealing from dudes around here. Throw a zone if you want. Uh, throw a fire skein out. That will be helpful. Charge up in the meantime for an attack here. Uh, Crusher is just weak to fire, level 36. Nothing particularly special about uh, them. No instant death or anything like that. And, well, Cyan doesn't get to do anything. Poor Cyan. Hmm? Wait a minute. That's not how things are supposed to go. What's going on here? What about this one? Aw, last choice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just figured I'd show you what those actually did. But yeah, the right one will always be on the left there. So yeah, don't, don't worry about that too much. Got a Moogle suit. You don't have to go after the suits all that much. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, here's some X-Zone, that doesn't work, then, actually, I don't think they're susceptible to that, are they? Nope, you can MP kill them, though. But yeah, they're starting to do a lot of damage. Alright, just kill them. There we go. The enemies are gonna do this much damage. I wonder if I should do something to protect myself against all this physical damage that I've been getting. Oh yeah, and that Crusher enemy has a chance to drop a Super Bowl, not that I care. Alright, we just have to wait for the door to stay open, and then we can go through there. Can't get up to that door because it's elevated. But yeah, pretty much all of the enemies in here are stupid, and you can cast Phantom just like the previous place that we were in, and you basically can't be hit. So, there's that. 
And yeah, the, the rest of this area is a complete and utter joke. <laughs> Again, it's twice in a row that we've basically gotten the same situation here. Is that a floating treasure chest? I'm scared. Oh God, it is a floating treasure chest. If you walk below them, you end up fighting this same battle formation, I think, every single time. So I'm not going to show them all off, but, you know, it's here, so that's a thing. Uh, fire scheme, charge up in the meantime. Terra should be able to knock out a lot of the cats right away. Throw this. Do that. Probably should have done the other one. That'll miss. Thank you. Basically your best way of getting through this. And yeah, I will uh, cut out each of these fights. But as soon as you finish each of the fights, you are rewarded with one of the items uh, from the appropriate treasure chest that uh, we found. And I finally learned Life 3. Inside is 2000 GP, which somehow is again 293 gil, just like in the Cave to the World of the Espers. Well, Cyan contributed in that one. He actually killed something. Here, we don't get a potion, but rather a tonic. Oh my god, he killed something again! And again, this is not an ether, but a tincture! Cyan got his turn first and killed a bunch of enemies, and this again is not a remedy, but a soft. Now, they made the same issue here that they did in, you know, in the Cave to the Sealed Gate. Uh, three of the same items. This is why when we found an Aether last time in there, I had thought that that was supposed to be a Tincture as well, because I was remembering that I thought all four of the items were duplicated here. But no, nope. instead we got... Uh, we only had the, uh, the three of them. But if we want to make a call back there, we got a Remedy a gold needle, a medicine, and thank you, Google, we indeed got a divorce. Google, <laughs> you're not helping. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of here again? Oh yeah, that's how we get out of here. Still life, uh, I don't think we've fought this guy yet. Still life is level 37, weak to fire, uses poison, can be MP killed. I don't think there's anything useful I need to steal from you. He can do some things that, uh, yeah, he can use Condemned, which will inflict uh, a status on us, which will actually remove our clear status once. And that's pretty much it. So we could reestablish it, but here's a doorway. Here's a save point. Uh, if you remember that uh, doorway that was too high, the door on the left here will take us there. The other one takes us to the end. Okay. All done with that. All saved up, healed, ready to go. What the hell? Well, there's Realm. Interestingly enough, if we go here and press the button, nothing happens. Hmm. Realm? Who are you? What's going on here? Help the painting. Okay. There's a monster hiding in your prize painting of a goddess. Uh huh. And now it's nearly impossible to get it to show itself. Okay. Can't attack this masterpiece. It would be inexcusable. Mustn't attack the picture of the goddess. It'll only make matters worse. Uh, Chatternoot? I don't know if that's a reference to anything. But okay, sure. No one's going to remove you from this painting, huh? Well, that's my job. 
Chatternook has two forms, the girl in the picture and the demon form. They have different totals for everything. So let's, uh, let's start by doing the only thing that Cyan's really gonna accomplish in this fight. <laughs> Uh, we don't need to steal. We don't really need to set anything up too much. Uh, the girl form is level 37 with 56,000 HP. Uh, absorbs pearl and water is weak to fire. And the other form is level 41 with 30,000 HP. And uh, can use bolt 2, bolt 3, and flash rain. We have thunder shields or minervas or force armors to protect against these things. And uh, yeah, I'll go over some of the attacks as we go. But the point is, don't attack the, uh, the female, uh, the girl form, because that's not going to accomplish anything. If you deal enough damage to kill it, it will just undo itself and uh, you'll have to start all over again. And I think we just beat it. He will cycle into the other form, I think, every 40 seconds. And he's gone. Now, the interesting thing about this fight is uh, he, he also has a flash rain ability, which I think is water and ice elemental. We're half protected against that. Uh, the... The female form has some interesting attacks. Doom Kiss, which sets Condemned. Lullaby, which I believe targets everyone and inflicts sleep. So I dodged a bit of a bullet on that one. The Almighty Charm ability that we talked about before with the Nightshades that will lock onto one of our characters and make them basically confused and uncurably confused. The only advantage here is it disappears when the form switches to the demon form. And then Phantasm. Phantasm is a very unique ability. It has the, uh, it basically sets seizure, but it's not seizure. It also erases all forms of regen on any of the characters and it targets everyone. You can't cure it and you can't protect against it. You can't cast regen over top of it. You can't, any regen, even regen, <clears throat> excuse me, provided by an accessory, which is almost impossible to dispel normally, can will be completely dispelled by this. It's it's really weird that way. But it doesn't matter because we won. <laughs> Yay, realm theme. Yeah, the monster croaked and so did my voice. Thank God for editing. Thanks for saving the day. The picture's more precious to me than my own life. Now, if you'll remember, we met the guy named Owser before. I'm not sure if he's just supposed to be sitting in a chair, but he looks like this giant, like, shoomy-like blob. I don't know about you guys, but there's a couple of really weird sprites in this game, and uh, Owser's sprite is one of them. What was a monster doing in the picture? All started when I bought a stone at the auction house. Took one look at it and suddenly felt I needed a portrait of Starlet. Several artists, but none could muster enough skill. Then I heard about Realm's amazing ability. She's like six and she's like the best painter in the world. I call bullshit. <laughs> I brought her here and put her to work. Slave driver. While she was painting, the thing came along. I must have been enticed here by that stone. Where's the stone? Stone? It's over on the bookshelf, which is why I pointed this out. This is magicite. I don't need it anymore. Bad luck. Just take it and go. We got the magicite starlet. I gotta go now, but I'll be back to finish the painting. And for doing that, we get realm back. Now, getting Realm back gives us access to one other thing. Okay, we're back, and like I said, there's one additional thing we can get. Now, I forget who says this. I can't even remember if we even talked to the guy. But there's an NPC out there that alludes to this. Those who have lost the will to live 
can only be recovered by family or true love or some such nonsense, whatever. Once you get Realm, you can come here and that's the only thing you can do to uh, talk to the stubborn old bag of bones who's still standing and... <laughs> Yeah, he lost all hope to uh, live and became a Kefka worshipper because he thought Realm was dead. Yeah, he's an idiot. He thought she had uh, kicked the bucket. I think I was going to check out before you, old man. <laughs> Apparently, in the Japanese, uh, Realm is uncharacteristically rude here, even for the, you know, egocentric character that she is. She's apparently really rude in this situation, and that's as much of a shock as, you know, the scene itself. Uh, but yeah, as foul-mouthed as ever, bless your heart. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. And for doing that, we recruit Strago all over again. Make room for me. And he is now a, uh, a character that we can recruit all over again. Meaning, we could go up here and do some things because, well, like we were talking about when we were here before, the... Um, the enemies here can only use magic, as well as us. Magic is the only thing we can do here, and we have four proper mages. But, we have a whole new world to explore, and Strago learns enemy skills. So next time, we are going to take Strago around the world to learn a bunch of enemy skills, and get him all prepped up, so that we can not come here. I'm going to save this one probably for last. It's probably the most difficult of the bunch, but I am going to go and find all of the different lures that we can get with them. And then I think we should do Cyan's side quest next. It's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.